Hello everybody, it's Sylvie, welcome back. I hope you're doing good. Today, I'm doing an unboxing. This is the Auto Autonomic Tarot from Rough Trade Books. I've kept it in the box because I love this Amazon no thank you sticker. Um, but yeah, I am really excited. I'm 100% keeping this tape, that's why I'm being relatively careful with it. I'll stick it into like a planner or a something. Right, we got there in the end. Okay, so this is the autonomic tarot. This is wow, we're far away. The setup is is not is not what I would what I would love today. Do we see the shine? Um so Rough Trade Books published a 22 Major Arcana, I think it was the Major Arcana plus some cards, ages back. I don't know about ages back, but I've been like meaning to get it for a while and have been delaying get it. And then I saw that they were bringing out a full 78 card edition of the deck. So I jumped on the pre-order. This is UK based. So for once, us UK people don't have to pay astronomical shipping fees. Um, this was, I think this was £30 plus postage. So really not expensive as indie decks go. This is Rough Trade Books. They are a independent publisher. They have some cool looking stuff on their site, but so far I don't have anything but the deck. So let us, let us do an unboxing. Let us, let us not worry about the lighting situation because it's going to bother me. So this actually is not difficult to read, just the angle that I have my lights at are ridiculous. So <laughs> this is the complete autonomic tarot. Is that, ah, okay, the complete autonomic tarot um, by Sophie Hollington and David Keenan. They did a smaller deck. They did a like kind of guidebook situation that goes alongside it. Apparently there's a novella. I was watching as serendipity would have it. Um, I want to say BB at Pure Red Velvet, who recently got the like earlier edition with less cards, said that there's a novella that goes alongside this. Um, so I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't see that because I assume it's published by Rough Trade Books. But anyhow, I just have the deck. Let's see what we have here. The card size looks huge based on this box. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Do you know what? Do you know what? Because it's right next to me. It reminds me of the, um, this is the queer tarot, this, um, Rider right Waite Smith clone. Like, how cool is that? These are, like, maybe my favourite tarot bags ever, so that's fun. Okay, so, did we have a little guidebook situation? Oh no! Oh no, I've made a mess! Okay, what a horrid mess, and there's a whole card that I missed. Another queen. Right, let's look at the, um, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> instructions. I love that. Instructions, not guidebook. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, so David Keenan is the writer. That's too far away to read. David Keenan is the writer and Sophie Hollington is the artist. And then these are like spreads. Cool. So we'll put... Put that to one side. Right, I've got to figure out what what crimes I have committed in, in like accidentally ruining the order of this deck. Right, I think it was just the quartz at the back of the deck that I sent all skew with. Um, but right, this is their large cards. These are the backs. They're not like metallic, but they're they've got like a little something to them, which is fun. Um they're kind of huge. They're kind of huge. Let's... Okay, this is an Insight Editions deck. This is the Buffy Tarot. For comparison. So they're... They're a fair bit bigger than that. So I feel like they're um almost too large to be comfy that's not thrilling i think these are probably the aces so we have cups beginning wands ashes it's interesting oh no clue wands dust swords ending swords completion 
Disc's bravery. I love this image. Disc's daring. The tower. The lovely star. That's nice. I like the water. I love the style of this. The moon. I think this deck is, is described as, as glam punk. Yeah, glam punk. Love that. The sun. The aeon. And the universe, which we have as a separate card. Cups, hope. Fortune. Lust. So we have lust instead of strength and we have it in the 11 position. So that's a more, more thoughty vibe to it. Hanged. I love this hanged man. I like this a lot with the with the being underwater. The devil. I like how it's like mirrored. That's very cool. Death. This is really interesting. I want to see because, okay, so this reminds me of, of Stonehenge, which is near where I grew up. And this could just be a stylized skull, could also be like, like pre-homo sapien hominin kind of skull. And then like with death, that's interesting. I have no idea if that's intentional or not, but um, my little archaeologist brain is picking that up. So art, we had temperance, right? Am I losing the plot completely? It's possible. It could happen. No, we had the star who for some reason I'm confused with temperance. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so we have art instead of temperance. The empress here. This is interesting. It's a very like structured looking empress. Are we on a bed? This looks like a like bed frame but like with this platform and the four I'm thinking much more emperor than empress so that's really interesting I like it this is our emperor who is looking a lot more like fluid and dynamic so that's a bit of a switch of the usual like emperor is the masculine is all angles and corners and stability and then yeah, I like it. The Hierophant. Got like, like a nod to like the key. We have the Hierophant's hands. Like these are the acolytes, but I like how they're holding hands as well. And then this is the lovers where we have more like one person split in two. I like these next to each other. The Chariot. Adjustment. So yeah, very thothy. The Hermit. I love this. This is very like glam rock. And the Fool. We have three figures in the Fool. The Magician. And the High Priestess. This is incredible. These boots. Ah, oh, love it. Okay, we're gonna work our way through, but I'm assuming the empresses, emp empresses, the aces and the tens are these illustrated cards at the front. Cups, ones, ones. Swords, swords. Discs, discs. I'm missing a cups card. All right, so here is our, we're, we're pippy. I think we're pippy through two through nine. And then the other cards that we had at the front of the deck are our aces and our tens. It looks like I'm missing a cups card. I assume it just got lost somewhere in the chaos. Lost in the shuffle. 
as it were. Um, I'm sorry, that was a really bad pun. Anyway, here is our, we're doing it number by number. So our two of cups. Do you know what? I'm gonna lay these out because I think that would be fun. It's my idea of fun. <laughs> okay, our two of cups, two of discs, two of swords, and two of wands, I think. Yeah, because these are wands and they're kind of blobby. I'm sure blobby is a technical term. All right, so our threes. Three of swords. Three of wands. I like this little kind of sun. I am not familiar with like playing cards, cardamancy wise. I'm not hugely familiar with the Marseille still I'm learning that very slowly so I don't know if there's I'm not seeing anything that looks like it's referencing like the Marseille um so I think it is just just pips being pips but I really like the um I like that the colors are varied throughout the suits and throughout the numbers because I think it just makes it a little bit more interesting to look at <laughs> So these are fives, six of cups, six of discs, six of swords, and six of wands. Our sevens, eights. Nines, okay, and then we have our court cards. Oh my goodness, words are just completely failing me. So these have come arranged king, knight, page, queen. I'm gonna rearrange them a little bit. Yeah, the court is is right away smithy with the page knight queen king instead of thothy which would be princess princess prince oh my goodness i've got a brain in there i swear okay so this is our page of cups i like the little like wizard hat it's holding his fish it's got a snake for good measure Page of discs. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love the shapes. I love the flowers. I love the tree. That's really gorgeous. Should we move a bit closer? Our page of swords. And page of wands. Oh, I love this. Like, I, I love everything about this this little like goblin-y face and this perspective with the figure at the end and the way it looks kind of matrixy and then we've got like shoes up top here the shoes all through this deck are like fab and then the way the vines are around oh, I just love that our knight of cups knight of discs with the heart that's really gorgeous Knight of Swords, which I feel like I'm getting like a Minotaur kind of vibe from this one. And Knight of Wands. Okay. Queen of Cups. Um, the snails. Hello. This is this is so cool. Queen of Discs, Queen of Swords, which is our box art. I love the way these stars are done. They like almost, but not quite, remind me of um, the stars in like ancient Egyptian like 
murals and and paintings and temples the stars of the night goddess like the way they're drawn that reminds me of that and our queen of wands got a black cat love it got a black cat got a sun okay king of cups king of discs i love him king of swords and king of wands oh is that like a spider the imagery in here is just is just so cool okay i'm going to assume cups beginning is our ace of cups and then i wonder who's ace and who's ten i feel like ashes to ashes dust to dust and i feel like this is feeling more ten of wands and this is feeling more potential I could look this up in the in the little guidebook, couldn't I? Yeah, Ten of Wands, Dust. Ace of Swords ending and Ten of Swords completion. That's really interesting. Ten of Swords, no, Ace of Swords. Ending, awareness, seed of an idea, standing out, surprise, inventing, sudden inspiration, Eureka. And then we have bravery and daring for the discs. I'm assuming the ace is bravery. And then yeah, the ten of discs is is daring. Just off the imagery, like this is this is much more acey that like a spark of inspiration. Okay, so I'm missing my ten of ten of cups, unless it's snuck in here somewhere. 18, 19. 2021. Oh, cups, hope. Ace. Okay, no, I think this is our ace for hope. And then ten of cups is beginning. Interesting. So as I put these all back in order, um, I don't think that the cardstock is necessarily great quality. It feels kind of cardboardy, but um it does feel really thin and flexible, so I think it's gonna be easy to shuffle. And so honestly, I'm not even really that mad about it. Because also this was, this was like I say, 30 quid plus postage, which is definitely on the cheaper side for an indie deck. Okay, so I put all that in order, truly just to shuffle it again. So I, I just had to for my own, <laughs> my own like satisfaction and peace of mind. Okay, so if you stopped recording because my battery was full, which frankly I think is rude. Um, but here is our super cool autonomic tarot i'm gonna give her a shuffle after putting her back in order like yeah it's just and like i i don't know if i have particularly large or small hands but this is a bit of a stretch literally okay that is a bit of a stretch um in in how tall it is and i do, I do wish it was small i feel like it could be I like the borders though, you know, I wouldn't want this to be borderless, especially with cards like like this, our Ace of Cups, or our Knight of Wands where there's a lot of black. I like the borders, and I don't think it would look as good without them. So I'm just going to have to put up with it being too large. But you can see where it's a little bit rough from where it's been cut. And the, yeah, there's like a little, yeah, can you see that? There's a little bump along the bottom edge, and I think that's on that's on all of the cards. So yeah, it's not the best production quality in the world, but it also was far from the most expensive deck in the world, so I guess I can't be too mad. Because I've definitely had decks with equal or worse cardstock that were more expensive, so, you know. Yeah, I think it does prefer being shuffled like back to front. I've got some decks like that. My Buffy Tarot actually that I used as a size comparison is like that because of the way it's been cut. I have to shuffle it back to front. Anyways, let's do a little, let's do a little mini reading with it. Why don't we? Let's see what the guidebook has to say. Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's definitely very pippish. It's not giving us a whole lot in terms of the imagery. Whereas like in a Marseille, you'd have little extra things going on in a lot of the cards. 
Eight of Wands, energetic resolution, new direction, opportunities, breakneck change, resistance, validation. Pretty standard meanings. Like I say, you don't get a whole lot from the cards. I want to try pairing her though. I think that um, this could be interesting because it's really bold, but also at the same time, because it's pips two through, nine, two through nine, it's also kind of minimal. And I've got to... Oh, got to, got to give her a go with the Feldman sisters, right? Come on, I simply must. I simply must. The colour palette. Are you kidding me? Yes. Yes. We're far away. Let's try that. I will never get over this three of swords. Just pain. Fun fact, this morning I picked a three of swords as my advice card in my three card spread that I was doing. So that was fun. One thing I will say is because we have the upright number at the bottom, I'm always going to read this as six and and read the sixes as nines. Yes, adjustment and the queen of wands. Oh, they look so good. Queen of swords, queen of pentacles, lots of queen energy here right now. Okay, so one of the reasons I really wanted to pair these is because the justice card in this, the Feldman sisters, uh, reminds me, or rather the death in the automaton. Oh my god, what are we called? The death in the autonomic tarot really reminded me of the justice in this Feldman sisters. This cardstock has just the worst texture in the world. Here we go, Justice. We haven't gone past death, have we? I'd have, I'd have recognized. Yeah. Because they've both got the teeth, and I think it's interesting. Here we go. Honestly, neither of these decks are fun to flip through. See? Like, they've both got the, the teeth, um, and the color palettes are similar. Yeah, I like these two together. I really haven't used the Feldman sisters as much as I would like because the cardstock feels gross. Like it's like it's not rose petal because it isn't as like smooth. I prefer it to rose petal, but it does kind of stick. It's not very fun. Oh, do you know what I want to pair this with? I want to pair this with the Outgrow Yourself Tarot Oracle, but that's far away and I am lazy, so so I'm not going to do that. Do you know what I'm curious about? This. This is the Animal Apothecary, Apothecary uh, Oracle. This is a Hay House deck. Well, at least I got it from Hay House. I don't know if it was ever indie or anything before that. But um, again, it's the colour palettes. It's the like black I've I've barely touched this I bought this I've used it a couple of times I'm currently using more like Halloweeny stuff at the moment um but the black line work yeah I think the, like those blues are almost almost identical this one is a little bit lighter. This one has a little bit more purple in it, but like they're very close. Ooh, I like those two together. I just think the way the yellow over the black and the yellow over the black. Yeah, these work, you know. Nourish the shadow next to the five of cups. That's interesting. You are what you think. Three of swords. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's intense. Uh, surrender to receive. Queen of Cups. No expectations. The sun. I like these. Yeah. Do you know what? I don't like this card. This is like the only card in this deck that's claim your power in the um, animal apothecary. I just, something about the, it looks unfinished to me. I wish there was more black in it. Oh, I like the tower and the illusion as well. I also like how this spear looks like the swords. 
in this deck that I'm now going to struggle to find. Yeah, there we go. Like the spearhead and these have this like arrowhead on the swords. I love these together. Ooh, fun. I love playing with pairs. It's truly, truly one of my favorite things to do. This isn't going to work, but I need to prove it to myself. This is the Lola Fatari. This is the new gold edition. Yeah, surely not. Although, like again, it's the color palette. I think I could convince myself of pretty much anything. Again, it's that like primary color palette. I think it's interesting how we've got a lot of these like organic watercolor shapes and then these like wood block, like more geometric, even though there's like a lot of a lot of roundness to a lot of the lines, like that they're, they're block shapes. And then there's very little line work here in the Lilifer. Ooh, King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I like how they're walking in the same direction, the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles, Page of Discs. I mean, it's not my most favourite pairing of all time, but I don't dislike it. I think it can work. Page of Swords, Page of Wands. It doesn't strictly not work, is what I'm going to say. Okay, I've grabbed a few more to play with. This is the, oh my god, what are you called? Mm. What is this called? Help, help. Um, I'm completely drawing a blank, but I will link it below. I know this is another UK indie deck. I know the tattoo shop the artist works at. Couldn't for the life of me tell you the name of the deck or the name of the artist. I will, I will, I as always list everything below. So I will list this in the description. But because this is black and white, I feel like they might be fun together. And this is a lot of line work, but it's also much more detailed than the black work in the autonomic tarot. Oh, I like that. So we've got ending as the keyword for the ace of swords here. And then we've got the whole master of the completed universe as the like title for the world. And so I feel like they're both playing with like beginnings and endings fun. Queen of Discs and the Last Judgment. Yeah. This again, this is my favourite, but it's not bad. I'm mostly just annoyed I can't remember what this is called. It's driving me mad. That's what happens when you keep things in a scarf instead of the box they came in. Okay, this is another keyword one, and I'm just curious because it's kind of it's it's got attitude, you know. I think the art styles are completely off, but I thought in terms of vibes, it might work. All right, three pentacles. I just like the pairing of daring next to romance. I think that's cute. Empress and charity for the six of pentacles. Yeah, I'm not super convinced by this one. But I'm just playing. That's all this is. Okay, and again, not convinced this is going to work, but I want to try it anyway. This is the Dream Vision Tarot, second edition. I think it's way too colourful, but I'll give it a look. 
Yeah, and I think the art style is too different. This is like airbrushed and then this is that like woodblock printed kind of style. I don't know if it's woodblock, I don't know if it's lino printing, but it's 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 been printed somehow, whereas this is like digital airbrushing. That's cute though. Hope next to the two of cups. Six of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, not really. That's nice. Because I like this up the middle and then this like they they look good together, but but most of them not so much. Okay. Was that everybody I wanted to try? Surely I have more to inflict on you than that. But I don't think so. I think that's all you that's all you have to put up with for today. And we got the fool, the fool on top, but that's cute. Okay, so that is my extremely chaotic um, unboxing, first impressions, playing with pairs of the autonomic tarot. Uh, what do I think of this? I think it looks super, super cool. I am curious to see how much I'm actually going to read with it because I don't think I have any other pip decks except for Marseille, which is obviously its own thing. I don't think I have other pip decks. At least nothing that is as pippy as this. I'm thinking of something like the Dragon Tarot that's like kind of scenic pips. So I'll see how much I actually read with this, but I think it's extremely cool. I like to see... I like to see something like this to see a tarot deck come from like a small indie publisher, especially like in the UK, because it feels like everything is American centric. So it's nice to have something like actually come from the UK for a change. But anyway, I think this looks super cool. I freaking love the mages. I'm going to have to find that novella or whatever else I can literature wise to go alongside this because the guidebook is not so great. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it for me. This has been, this has been this has been a video. <laughs> this has been a video. Um, thank you very much for sticking with me if you've made it this far. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the deck. Let me know if you've got the majors only version and if you're gonna consider upgrading to the full 78 card deck. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have I said all that already? Probably. Um, I'm gonna see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.